YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at four different ICM kits. They are all World War I kits, 135th scale. Um, one kit is the World War I German MG 08 MG team. The other is the World War I German infantry in armor. The next is the World War I Belgian infantry set. And then the last one is the French Zouaves 1914. And those are the four kits that we're going to check out today. We'll look at the boxes, the box art, and we'll open up and we'll look at the, the sprues and check out and see what the figures and everything that comes with it looks like. Okay, so the first kit is the World War I German Infantry in Armor. 135th scale kit. It is a ICM model. That is the box art. Sorry about the glare. They look pretty awesome. I like the background. Looks really good. There is the side. 14 and up. Blue and paint are not included. other side shows you the figures you're getting and there is the other side and you saw how much I paid for it these uh, this kit is made in Ukraine all these kits are made in Ukraine so that is our World War one German infantry in armor and now let's take a look inside Okay, so like always, most ICM kits will come with the outside box and then the white box inside that houses the sprues and the instructions. So there are your instructions. Shows you the figures. I really like this. Let me move this box out of the way really like this because this shows you the paint that you need what they look like when they're done that is your paint list so that's pretty nice and they give you ICM, Revell, and Tamiya colors so anyways that's the paper that comes with it and then just like master box models, ICM models have this nice little bag that you can peel off that sticky part and then you can pull all this stuff out and check it out. So, get our white piece of plastic here. We'll check out some of this armor. Which looks really cool, really good. Helmet looks pretty awesome. You get that. There's another one. These are obviously the same sprues. You get four of those for each of the figures. And then we'll take a look at the figures. Let's look at this one first. Pretty nice. Obviously there's not too much detail because that's where you're going to attach the armor. But the rest of this is very detailed. Head sculpt looks pretty cool. And here is the next. As you can see, different head sculpt, which is really nice. Get those two focused together. As you can see, the, the parts are pretty basic. It's the things you're gonna add to it that's gonna bring these to life. And here is another one of the figures. One with the potato masher. 
other heads. And that is the other figure. And they, the heads do look somewhat close, but they're not. They're not the same. Because if you look at these two, they look pretty similar, but they're actually not. Okay. And then here are all of our accessories and weapons. That's your machine guns, ammo pouches, shovels, bayonets, canteens, binocular cases, food cases, other weapons, all kinds of stuff. Rifles, pistols. I just thought those were pretty cool. Let me flip those over. Because the Mauser is what they made Han Solo's gun out of. There's your other helmets. So there is a lot to work with there. That is one. And here is the other, which is the exact same thing. But this gives you a lot of options and a lot of weapons in case you want to use them for something else. Maybe you want to have them stacked around. But that is everything that comes with the World War I German Infantry and Armor set. That's your two sprues of weapons, four sprues of armor, and your four infantrymen to put all that on. So all in all, pretty cool kit. Lots of detail. Looks pretty nice. And show some of that again. Actually, I ought to get this. You can see lots of detail. ICM, they make excellent kits, excellent detail. Not a whole lot of trimming that you have to do on these. Most of the molds are excellent, very clean. You don't have to do a lot of cutting or sanding. All in all, pretty awesome kit. All right, let's take a look at the next kit. Okay, next up is the World War I German MG 08MG team. And there is the box art. Pretty nice box art, as always. 135th scale. Made in Ukraine. 14 and up. Obviously, glue and paint are not included. There's your two figures. There it is. So let's, I'll just kind of show you on this box. You're going to have to cut the tape because they tape these up pretty good. Just like that. Then you take the cover off, basically. And then you have your box opens right here and opens right up okay here are your instructions once again that's very nice shows you the colors you need Ravel and Tamiya colors this next one that's really cool. I like that. It shows you all your weapons. So a lot of these weapons look like the same that came with the other one. Have to check that out. It might be the same spur. It probably is. Okay. And then there is... Oops. That's how you build that MG. So that's really cool. That's very detailed. Very nice instructions. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's take a look at everything inside. Open that up. Packages are great. We're not losing parts. As you 
can just put them back in and there's one loose part right there looks like an ammo can okay put that there and let's take a look at our figures first looks pretty good lots of detail even on the pack check out the packs those are pretty cool looking good all your buttons very very nice and this is the other soldier once again those heads look very similar but they are not as you can see those are the soldiers that come with it this is the same sprue that i just showed you on the other one i mean you can tell but that's cool you know especially if you're going to get into building world war one kits and you can use some of these weapons even for World War II if you wanted to. And then here is, don't let me break that piece off because I almost did. And there is the MG. Lots of small parts. So be very careful when you pull these out because you don't want to lose anything. And this <laughs> looks like a chore itself, just putting this together with all these little parts. But very, very cool, very detailed. I mean, that looks awesome. Let me flip that. this first very very nice looking good and that is one of the pieces that fell off of this one okay so that is everything that you get with the world war one german mg team Let's take a look at the next one. Next up are the French Zouaves 1914. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sure if I'm not that the Annunciation Police will be after me and tell me exactly how to pronounce that in all the comments below and everything else and probably nitpick the video apart and you know cuz I don't really think that they're out to check the sprues out or even build models it's just more of like let's look at videos and pick them apart but anyways let's check this one out so there's the box art which i've always thought those uniforms were really cool um i also have small kits uh the perry miniatures of the same outfit for the uh, civil war so i don't know i always thought these outfits were really cool looking that's why I picked this one up. Thought it'd be something neat to do. Really like the box art. Like the background. It just all fits in real nice. Very, very good box art. 135th scale. No paint, no glue included. 14 and up. Made in Ukraine. I think I already said it was 135th scale. And there is a picture of the guys that you're going to get. And the other side. And as usual, you see how much I paid for them. Um, I get these at a, I guess, not so local hobby shop. It's a an hour drive, but it is worth it every time I go there. So, you can check with your local hobby shop. Or a lot of times I'll order from Amazon or the plastic model store. Just depends on what's going on and of course you have to look at pricing a lot of times too sometimes you can find better deals different places okay 
pull everything out of here. Here's our sprues. Let's check this out. Ravel and Tamiya paints. Showing our sprues. Very nice. Let's flip those over. Very, very cool. And I'm telling you what, right now, if I don't use all these parts, I can definitely use these for other models, World War I and World War II, realistically. And there, that shows you the paint jobs on all these. Very, very nice. Really like these in color now, because you really can't mess things up when you see this, unless you're trying to do something else that you've seen in other pictures. You know, but if you're if you're wanting to paint them just as they came in the box, they do a really good job of showing you how to paint those, where the colors go. You don't have to rely on that box alone. You can look at those pictures as well. So that's that's really nice. And I've noticed that a lot more here of late. Um, all right, let's take a look. Sword looks pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the detail just on that arm alone. Check that out. Lots of detail just with the outfit. Pistol looks great. This is obviously the officer right here. Look at that. Very, very nice. But they're, I mean, they're all detailed. But let's take a look at this one. Looking good. All right, let's flip this. I like to flip it that way you can get a good look at the head sculpts. I'm trying to keep it in focus and trying to make it where it's not going in and out. As you can tell, I'm not a professional. So there are all of your figures and the packs that come with them. Hats, all there. Here are all of your weapons, helmets, which that's really cool. It comes with all this stuff, wire cutters. <laughs> that's awesome. Like how this rifle has the bayonet with it. That's really, really cool. Gas mask canisters. Very, very detailed. These are awesome model kits. Binoculars, pistols, that, look at this. You have to check this out. If you don't know what this is, that's a coffee grinder. Let me bring that out. That is an old coffee grinder. That's cool. Who would have thought anybody would have threw a coffee grinder in there with that? That's pretty awesome. Of course, if we got a pan, we got, this is for your food, so. That's really neat. That's some cool detail that you can throw into these sets. That's a very awesome set. And just for the accessories that come with it alone, it would probably be worth to get because you look around on the internet and there's not too much going on for World War I when it comes to any kind of accessories or anything really, unless it's the same stuff that you get with these kits, you can buy extra. So, I mean, you know, if you're looking for that stuff, then it works out great. But if you're looking for anything else, most of the time you're probably not going to find it, which kind of stinks. And that goes for a lot of other things, too. You know, obviously, World War II is the main, the main selling point when it comes to 135th scale military models. But altogether, that was an awesome kit. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, this is the World War I Belgian Infantry, which, I don't know, I was kind of excited about this one. This one looked really cool, and there are some buildings or, or dioramas that you can get that, that look a lot like these buildings, so I'm, I don't know, I, I may have to explore options when it comes to doing something with these guys. So I was pretty, 
excited to get these. Thought they really looked cool, at least the box art did. So I'm really anxious to see what that looks like inside. And then after looking at that one, this, this should really be interesting. So made in the Ukraine, 14 and up. Glue and paint not included. There are the figures. Okay. Let's take a look inside. And this one actually, that one's already, looks like it's cut open for the most part, so I, I got lucky there. All right. Open that up. Pull all this stuff out. Okay. So we've got our, there's our guys all painted up. Showing you where everything goes, all the colors to be used. Our paint chart, our sprues, very nice, I'm liking. I don't, eh, no, that might be the same sprue, I don't know, we'll have to check it out. It might be, it might be different. Oop, wrong side. And I've said it many times before, these packages are wonderful because you don't have to worry about losing any of the parts. So, great job, ICM, for that. These are different, but that's okay. There's your weapons, helmets, canteens, shovels, ammo pouches, swords. Pretty cool stuff. Very, very nice. Very detailed. Looks really, really good. And that is one sprue. No, it did not come with the same sprue as the other one, but these are both the same. This is the same exact thing that I just showed you. Let me flip this one because I showed you one side. I didn't show you the other side. So that is the other side of that sprue. Looks pretty good. Okay, now let's take a look at these figures. There's our first one. As you can see, they got the long jackets. Looks pretty cool. The pack looks good. Face looks excellent. Let's take a look at this one. Where is that? There. Looking very, very good. And we will flip it. All different. get the hat in there yep everything looks awesome and as you can see the faces are different so in this yeah you know, this is actually split this part goes with these this goes with this and so on so that is what that looks like. Very nice. Very well done. Always a treat to get ICM models. Everything always looks good. Highly detailed. And, you know, just the sprues alone with not having a bunch of stuff to trim and cut off and sand is, is really nice. It's it's very pleasant to build these models. They're not like the models from years ago where you had to cut all kinds of things off of them and sand everything like crazy. And sometimes it made model building miserable. Unless you said, the hell with it, I'll just leave the lines on. So this makes things a lot more pleasant. Um, very nice kits. Very highly detailed. 
these two. Still pretty impressed with that coffee grinder on that one. There is the other one. And this one, uh, I will probably try to figure out a way to make at least two dioramas with these. Probably with one, one Belgian, one German, one French, one German, or I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. But uh, very nice kits. Um, if you're interested in World War One kits, you should really go out, check out ICM Models. Go to their website, check out other hobby websites, go to your local hobby shop, see if they can get them. Amazon, uh, Plastic Model Store, all kinds of places you can find this stuff. Really cool stuff. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And uh, I hope to show you more uh, in the years to come. So uh, if you haven't already, thank, thank a veteran. Thank them for their service. Thank them for everything that they've done for your, you and your country. And God bless.